Good morning, we're so glad you're here. It's a Saturday after a very, very, very long Friday, which is great because it feels like the weekend should be over. But our babies are awake. We did not get a lot of rest last night, but Sarah's older sister, Jenna, sent us a wonderful Starbucks gift card, so we're gonna start our Saturday off with some Miss Rachel, learning some words, and a little pick-me-up walk in our neighborhood to Starbucks. And a naked baby. <laughs> Rough get out. Yeah. James James was eating candy and he wanted to keep eating candy, but he's got his Darth Vader. And I bumped his head. Yeah, and he sort of bumped his head on the way out. We got a Teddy. <laughs> and our Starbucks order ready, so we're gonna get going. What did you order? Misto Cafe. Coffee, I think they're Oh. I also ordered uh, I dose of regret for not bringing my sunglasses. Oh. <laughs> it's a Chicago overcast where there's no sun out, but the sun's out. Look at these sunflowers. Sun, sun, sun. <laughs> and I got a green tea lemonade, but I got it with apple juice because I'm trying to feel fally. Blueberry scones. Mm-hmm. And James in a trusty croissant. the last time I've been out here. You were out here like earlier today. I hang out all time I need my time away. Oh please. <laughs> Look at this sweetheart. Oh. Uh, that Jew. Nothing. <laughs> Got three planes. You love those planes, huh? All right, so we're walking through the Chicago AIDS Garden, which we were here once when I wanted to walk with James. Yeah, we we were here, but then they did like a lot of construction to like make it. Remember I played with the like, drone over here that one time? Yeah. 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 So this is where we're walking, uh -huh. walking through. We're gonna we're gonna head back. We didn't mean to go on like a huge huge extravagance <laughs> this morning. We were just, we were just, just <laughs> and then we're like, let's head towards the lake because it's beautiful and breezy and overcast. And even though like we live really close to the lake, it's still a process to get to it because it's there's only the certain and Lakeshore Drive yeah. and then the harbor and then the pathway takes you around like so. But it was lovely. Yeah. So lovely. And this is lovely. Yeah. See? Doesn't it just ooze lovely, as Sarah said? It's just lovely. <laughs> and so all around there are these little QR codes. I'm assuming if you used it, you could actually access it from the vlog to listen to stories and learn more. There's also a website. I had Teddy laying next to me while I got the vlog live. And Eve just needed to sit right here. Jamesy fell asleep on the end of our walk, so he's napping. We're gonna figure out what we're gonna do today. Hi. What should we do? Look who woke up, woke up from his nap and he realized he still has his shoes on. He also wanted every one of his plush thrown in the crib too. It's a bunny. James is up from his nap. We're gonna listen to some Disney music and color while Dad goes out on a run. We're and we're fundraising. Flash fundraising, which doesn't really 
<laughs> which really doesn't matter to this vlog because this will go up tomorrow. I mean, it does because the link for donations will be down below. So if you feel inspired by this ridiculous thing we're about to try, mm -hmm. we would love for you to share or donate. Yes, we are fundraising for American Cancer Society for the Chicago Marathon. We still have about a thousand dollars we need to fundraise. We don't fundraise for British Cancer Society or Australian Cancer. It's only American. I'm just joking. American Cancer Society does the greatest thing we like about them is how much of, of their proceeds and fundraising goes to research. Yes. I mean, they do do cool things like getting people rides and hotel stays. For Great their, things that you don't think about do that are lot. stressors, like wigs. Yeah, like things that you don't realize that how too. much how much money goes into just like living with cancer, living post cancer, cancer living sucks. through it all. Yeah, it really if you does. Didn't know. It killed both of Sarah's parents. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna go for a run. I'm yes. gonna go for a run. <laughs> the goal is, I'm gonna run three miles. Mm -hmm. and, and ideally, that'd be a little bit more than 30 minutes. If we can raise 100 bucks in the 30 minutes, Evie. Evie wants to go on a run with me, but she can't run more than a walk. You wanna go on a run? Someday. Maybe. You could train. So, if we raise 100 bucks in 30 minutes in my first three miles, I'll double that and I'll run six miles today. And if we raise another 100 bucks in that second, yeah. if we run. There's 200 bucks in this whole thing. I'll jump in Lake Michigan at the end of my six mile run. Great. Okay, see you later. What's on your face? Yeah, you got a marker on your face. We've discovered drawing on ourselves. He really listens well with just paper, but every once in a while he gets a little curious. Hold on, hold on. Look at this beautiful harbor and day. All right, barely 10 minutes in. We got her to hit our first goal. Thank you, SJ. My wonderful little sister donated 100 bucks. So we are going six miles today. Only 100 more to see me jump in this lake today. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all. Thank you, SJ. Mm. Chucky on this lake, and it's looking like I'll be jumping in it. We're just finishing up mile two. I want to thank another Sarah, or Marcy, Brian, Aaron. You guys have all done it. Thank you. Keep me motivated during this run. We're not too far. I think we're like 20 bucks away from our 200 hour goal, and I'll be jumping in this lake at the end of six miles. It's gonna feel great. Don't worry. I plan on jumping. It's a little bit more protected, it's not this choppy. And we've hit our halfway goal for the Chicago Marathon, which is just coming up in 56 days. It's fall, time to run, it's so good. So Peter is kicking butt out there and you guys are kicking butt fundraising. We've like in 30 minutes, we're like 20 minutes away from $200. It's so incredible. Thank you guys for helping us year after year reach these goals. Um, it is not lost on us that we have not follow through with the virtual 5k but peter and i have been working behind the scenes on when we want to have it and the details we want to present it when we're ready but i figured today would be a great day to say that it is happening and it is happening soon so um we'll talk about more about it. well peter and i will talk about it and then we'll talk about it on the vlog more too um you guys are you guys are just awesome and so is american cancer society and I love days like this because it really just like motivates us to keep doing it. And you guys are, I said it a million times, I'll say it a million more. You're awesome. It's been 30 minutes. We've raised not only $100, but we've now hit the $200 mark. So that means running six miles and end of it jumping in good old Lake Michigan here. There's all these people out enjoying their beautiful Saturday in Chicago. I'm gonna take you a little closer to the city because I don't wanna end my six miles in my neighborhood. I wanna end my six miles still on the lakefront so I can just end that six miles, lose the headphones and the phone and just jump in. And yes, I will be recording it of course. But 
We hit our goal 200 in 30 minutes. That's half the time. How far can we go? Can we do another 100? Can we do another 200? I don't know. You guys are the incredible ones. I'm just the buffoon that runs for your guys' sadistic enjoyment. So let's go. Let's run. I also cannot begin the second half of today's training run at Fundraiser Flash Fundraiser without thanking Gary, who closed us out with a $25 donation, closing out our $200 goal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This, this is a good view, the skyline. Thank you so much, Rebecca, for another donation. Into post-flash fundraising, continue flash fundraising. Mile four done. This has been a lot of fun. Two things real quick. We'll start on a more serious note. This was the only mile so far in this flash fundraiser that we didn't get a single donation during the entire mile. But hey, we're killing our goal, so that's amazing. Second of all, you guys know if you've been following our running journey that I don't like to do circles. I don't, I don't like to do routes, like repeats. I go as far as I need to and I turn around. It's motivational because that means no matter what, this point after four miles, I get to turn around. And you know what that means? I have to go home. I have to go home today. I got kids. I got a dog. I got a, my best friend waiting at home for me. I got to go home. So no matter what, I'm hitting my six miles. No matter what, I'm jumping in this lake. And it's all because of you guys. Thank you so much. Time, time to go home. Boom, six miles complete, $256 fundraised. I am miscalculated my running pad, so I'm a little further away from the point where I want to jump in. So we're gonna get there, we're gonna jump in and celebrate an amazing class fundraiser. Thank you all who shared our link, shared our story, and was gracious and kind enough to actually donate to our fundraiser. Please keep spreading our story, spreading the great cause that we fundraise for and run for, and do fun stuff like this. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for donating to our cause. A lot of fun, maybe we should do this more often, right? Nice six mile run and a nice little cool dip in the lake. It was cold. Not as cold as I suspected though, so. Felt good. Now I have to walk home cold and wet. But, sure was a fun Saturday, right? Why do I deserve such nice things? I come out of my shower after my run and this delicious pasta is made. Fresh. Ooh. 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 <laughs> what are you going to do with that? Oh, <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> All right, we need a couple of things for dinner to make our salads. So, you know what that means, James. Go into your favorite store. Okay, we are getting dinner situated. I remembered I had some chicken breasts frozen in the freezer. So this is like three bigger chicken breasts. And I put in that Trader Joe's peanut chili pepper salsa. And just cook that on high for like three or four hours and it's nice and tender. We are gonna make taco salads. So, we have romaine lettuce. I'm gonna chop up some tomatoes, the chicken, black beans. We're gonna have them cold. And then Pierre's at the store. He's getting some Fritos, sour cream. I think that might be it. And we have that like yummy Trader Joe's jalapeno sauce that we're gonna put on top. So these are just gonna be big bowls. Um, honestly, we're hoping to eat and then get out. There is a movie at a park nearby, um, but I just feel like it's kind of getting late, so we'll see if that happens. Goodbye. Have fun. Classic mode is the part of the movie album. During dinner, 
We gotta relax. Oh, we call for four. Got spit in your throat. Oh, James has got his beans. James has got his beans. Beans. James has got his beans. The thing I was forgetting was rice. So you got rice in there too. So yummy. This was like I had a taste for this. I'm, I'm happy. Louis single handedly makes my life better. <laughs> True. <laughs> Oops. Do you like the chicken? We got a meat eater. He like prefers meat. So we decided to stay home. Just embrace a full Saturday, relaxing, nice. What? Oh. And Peter's on the phone with Christina. So be right back. Okay, so we're staying in to finally watch Lightyear. Jamesy's already very into it. Children are asleep in their beds. So the parents will eat Klondike bars. Will eat Klondike bars. Do you think they used to be bigger? Mm. I'm asking <laughs> Should we say it? It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.